In this video, you'll learn how to create a button hover effect that looks like this. When you hover your mouse over to the button, it lights up. And when your mouse leaves the button, it goes back to the default state. Without further ado, let me show you how to create it step by step. It is really simple to create a button hover effect. All I need is a text, auto layout, and changing the background color. That's honestly all you need, right? I'm going to show you how to do it. So add in a text. Mm, let's call this a subscribe. Right click, add auto layout. For the uh, horizontal padding, I'm going to change it to 16px. Vertical padding, I'm going to change it to 8px. As for the background color, I'm going to change it to dark red. For the text, I'm going to change it to white. As for the entire button, I'm going to give it a border radius or rather a corner radius of 8px. And then uh, let me just rename the entire frame to call it subscribe button. Create component and make sure this uh, component is uh, selected, the subscribe button component is selected and then click on add variant. Now we have two subscribe button. For the second subscribe button, um, if I want my hover effect to work in such a way that every time I hover over, it's going to be lighter. Uh, the background color for the uh, button that is in the hover effect, I'll make it a bit lighter. So let me just drag it up a little bit. Uh, maybe something like this okay just drag it to something a bit lighter than the default version right let me click on the entire component set for the property i'm going to rename it to state okay just rename it to state just to tidy things up a little bit and for this darker um this subscribe button with a darker background i'm going to keep the state as default as for the one that has a lighter background, I'm going to change the state to hover. Now, click on the default state button. Click on prototype. Just connect it to the button with a lighter uh, color. And for the interaction details, instead of on click, it's going to be while hovering. Animation, make sure that you set it to instant. Um, and honestly, that's all you need. So let's test this out. I'm going to create a frame. So this is a frame, create a frame, just draw it over here. And for this frame, I'm going to call it showcase. And for the showcase frame, click on the flow starting point, change the name of the frame to showcase. Now in my assets, I'm going to look for subscribe button there i found it great let me just drag it inside the showcase frame and then let me just click on the play button and see whether it works oops it's a little bit too small so let me just fill screen let's hover over it as you can see that's how you create the hover effect on a button itself if you'd like to see more of this kind of a tutorials on Figma, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like. I'll see you in the next video.